Welcome to week three at our Fort Collins Bible Church Advent Celebrations. We open with me in a word of prayer. Father God, we praise you for the joy of the Christmas season. It is a celebration of the joy of knowing you. Please be glorified in our thoughts, words, and prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now will you join me in singing Joy to the World. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the earth, the Savior reigns. Let men their songs employ. Well, fields and floods, rocks, hills, and plains repeat their sounding joy. Repeat their sounding joy. Repeat, repeat their sounding joy. No more let sins or sorrows grow nor thorns infest the ground. He comes to make his blessings flow, far as the curse is found, far as the curse is found, far as, far as the curse is found. He will rule the world with truth and grace, and make the nations prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders wonders of his love now please join me for our three readings galatians 5:22 through 23 says but the fruit of the spirit is love joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. James 1, 2 through 4 reads, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience, but let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete lacking nothing. 1 Peter 1, 6 through 9 says, In this you greatly rejoice, though now, for a little while, if need be, you have been grieved by various trials, that the genuineness of your faith, being much more precious than gold that perishes, though it is tested by fire, may be found to praise, honor, and glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ, whom, having not seen, you love, though now you do not see him, yet believing, you rejoice with joy inexpressible and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, the salvation of your souls. While the Christmas season is a joyous time for many, the stress and busyness of the season can sometimes distract us from the joy we have in Christ. For many, the holidays can be a time of loneliness and missing our lost loved ones. However, we find in Scripture that the only source of true joy is found in the person and work of Jesus Christ. True and permanent joy flows naturally from knowing and believing the truth that God valued each of us so highly that he would send Jesus, his only begotten Son, to die for our sins and to reveal God most clearly to us. While many things will make us happy this Christmas season, Christ alone gives us joy. Now, will you join me in our closing hymn, Come Thou Long Expected Jesus. Jesus 
Jesus, born to set thy people free from our fears and sins. Release us, let us find our rest in thee. Israel, strength and consolation, hope of all the earth thou art, dear desire of every nation, joy of every longing heart. Thy people to deliver, born a child and yet a king, born to reign in us forever. Now thy gracious kingdom bring by thine own eternal spirit. Rule in all our hearts alone By thine all-sufficient merit Raise us to thy glorious throne Thank you for joining us for this third Sunday of our Advent celebrations. Let's close our time together with a word of prayer. Dear God of all joy, thank you for this Christmas season when we celebrate the first coming of your Son. Please give us a clearer understanding each day of your infinite grace expressed toward us in Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.